legendary Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up and off we go from Lambeau. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Defensive side for the Packers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Three and a half to go, first quarter. They'll throw again. Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. On play action, now Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. Nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Throwing on second and long. Rodgers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. 
They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. So on fourth down, on is the punter Pat O'Donnell to kick it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No, what was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prole spheroid, which means it's going to bounce, buddy, and you never know where it's going to end up. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that would off the mark behind him. Incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Prescott to throw it. And his pass incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. On third down, it's Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. He's got room past the 30. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain of 32 that time. And that one hurts defensively. They force him into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. But their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the four. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Buying time to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Another one drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. No score after one on EA Sports. down as he'll wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. And here's Jones again on second down. And they get to him quickly as he stopped right around the 13. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for the Jones. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Here we go now on first and goal. Jones going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Rodgers now to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Rodgers now on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. off the left up 
Brighton and carries away, no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So first and goal quickly turns into fourth and goal, and then fourth and goal turns in to no points whatsoever. That's a very disappointing sequence of events right there. And I, for one, would not want to be the kicker as to run over to his head coach and explain that one. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, it's Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32 run right down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down, Prescott. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Throwing is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Still searching for that first breakthrough, and I thought this might be it. But it's not to be, and we're still scoreless. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Second down throw for Prescott. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. A first down throw for Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup, 47 yards. And the Cowboys post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. So 
So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first and ten, Prescott. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the Packers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked them all. Yeah, instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football while we look at the defense they came in prepared had excellent game plan well scouted and they're taking it away at almost every turn well partner they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score now this is a confident group at the very least they're thinking field goal yeah, and i don't blame them one bit i don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Rodgers. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. To try again after the sack. Rodgers, oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing is... And this is going to be intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Golan. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the air kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick return, I suppose, but you are giving that extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to give much. Maybe a couple. And it's second down. Throwing on second and eight. Rodgers, throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. Rodgers now on first down. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. On play action, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And down inside the 15 he goes. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Again, it's Jones. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. Rodgers going to throw. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Packers are an extra point away from capturing the lead. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. And this is going to be hauled in. So they get the two-point conversion, and now they have an 8-6 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Take it at the 15, a short kick. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. Thank you, guys. One big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. From the 45 on second down, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 35. Here's Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. 
When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. On second down, Elliott. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first. Flushed out right. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. That's a big league job there of getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. It's a loss of five there on the sack to bring up second and goal. On second and goal. Prescott swinging this out for Pollard. Touchdown! Tony Pollard. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. Being chased out left. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll go again to Jones. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 66 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 41, Rodgers, that's complete to Lazard. And they're going to get this up to midfield. First down carry by Jones. 
Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw is Rodgers. Right side to Watson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that will bring up third and one. To throw is Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. in a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go back to the ground with Jones, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down. And it forces one there, and it's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Lewis, and the Cowboys have just about shown up this football game. Just when you thought this game might be turned on its ear, a late interception pretty much going to seal the deal. Yeah, boy, talk about having your backs to the wall. This defense, they look like they were in danger surrendering this lead, but they knew they needed that one play, and they got it right there, partner. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Clock about to expire. Mike McCarthy's going to take a timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Press cross with the red. New notification. Now the NFL TV three. Still nine remaining on second down. Press got to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. <laughs> And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 22 yards there, a first down. First 
So this one will end in a victory for the...